guys, this is Chandler from Triple Threat Pop, and welcome back to another video. And this is our first video in four months, I think, maybe five. Um, and I'd like to tell you that we are going to be back for probably the rest of the year until about September. Um, this, like I said, this is when we always do have to have a break, is when school starts up again, you know, life gets busy, and it's just you don't have time to make videos and edit them and, you know, you know, make them good. So, we're back, and we have a lot of stuff planned, including Emerald City Comic Con coming up. Uh, we have reviews, pop hauls, pop hunting, and other Funko products, and maybe some other stuff as well that we would like to review. So, to start out, uh, coming back, I have a package from Funko Shop. Um, I ordered this about two weeks ago, and um, it is here. And uh, I already opened it, so I wouldn't have to struggle on camera. So, here it is, Funko Shop and all of its beauty. Here is the inside. It's very, very nicely packaged. Um, a lot of green bubble wrap, so we get it undone. There is a box inside with two pops. Let me just Get them out. Here's the box, by the way. This comes in a little box and it says Pebbles and Bam Bam, two pieces per case. Let me get this open and get the pops out. Okay, so here we go. These are what I picked up. It is Pebbles and Bam Bam. So these are both Funko Shop exclusives, exclusive to 8,000 pieces. Um, they were what we got on Wednesday, so if you go on Funko Shop's website every Wednesday, they will have a new pop. Uh, this week was, well I guess not this week, but last week was um, a Dino in his in the Flintstones car. So they are going back to Flintstone pops and really kind of bringing them back. So let's look at the first one. So we have Pebbles here. This is my personal favorite out of the two. I really like the detail they put in her hair and the little bone. She's probably the cutest one. Actually, Bam Bam is. You know what? Just watch the, watch it if you, and then go down in the comments below. Who do you like more, Pebbles or Bam Bam? So, here is the pop. These are extremely small, very small. Um, I'm gonna get a regular size pop. And I'll show you the difference between a regular size and a smaller size pop. Okay. Here is the new Batman. Oh. Poor Pebbles. She fell down. She couldn't sit down anymore. Well, let me get Batman out. And this is probably a taller regular size pop. And I'll just show you the difference between the taller and the smaller. Oh, by the way, Batman, we will have a... Um, review on this Batman. You can see the size difference. Very different sizing. Um, but the detail in this pop is amazing. Uh, she has her little belly showing in her, I don't know, what is it, diaper? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. And then a lot of detail in the shirt. Now, it might not look like much, but it really is a lot for what the cartoon was and how much how much popularity it had back then. And the hair as well, it's very simple and nice. You have the C, you can see the lines in the actual hair and the two um, strains of hair along with the, bo the bone that is kind of holding it in place. And then a lot of detail in her bangs and her eyelashes. So now let's look at Bam Bam. Uh, I'm just gonna put you back here. And also Bam Bam. Also, both of these you have to buy together um, for what where I was, I had to buy for about $40 for the pair. Um, it's about $30 plus tax and shipping and blah, blah, blah. So here we go. Here's Bam Bam. I personally think this has a lot more detail uh, just because there's a lot more components to him. So let's first look 
uh, his little diaper thing is really cool. And it's really cool how they get so much detail in each of these little um, things. So, and then he has his little bone and his little like, I don't know, like sash in a way. And that's also really well detailed and sculpted with his hair, has that nice little bit on it. And right here as well. And then at the top, he has his little hat. The hat, like the little, uh, what are those called? Like the little pom-poms at the top is really well detailed and sculpted as well. His hat is really well sculpted at the top and all the, like I said, all the little paint job. And the paint jobs are actually pretty good on these. I was thinking that they weren't. But the best club part is his club. And like the lines are really well sculpted. So, that, and the, there's always a lot of detail in Funko's Pops now, so, and it's really good that they're bringing so much detail and life into these really basic characters from back in the day, but it makes the Pops a lot better. So, let's look at the boxes now, and just look at the box art. So, for the Pebbles box, it is simple, just, she's on the side, has the nice artwork, the back you know, the artwork in the back is very nice. As well as the back, you can see Fred and Barney, which are now a lot of money. <laughs> but like I said, the back art is really good. So the bottom of the box, nothing too crazy there. And the top of the box is just pebbles. Um, same with the side. And then you have the sticker. The sticker is actually really cool. I really like the sticker. And the side, just pebbles. Nothing much to it. And then you have Bam Bam. Uh, same thing, just Bam Bam. Same back art. Nothing too crazy. Just not pebbles. It's Bam Bam. And both of them are completely different characters, and I really like that you had to buy the set. I might buy the uh, the um, D Dino, but I want to look for a better price. So. Uh, just stay tuned, um, the next video will probably be up in just a few days with Emerald City Comic Con, that's gonna be huge, uh, that's where we all, that's when we started, so the channel is gonna be a year old almost, so we started it from Emerald City Comic Con, and we're gonna pretty much start it again from Emerald City Comic Con, so hope you guys enjoy, I hope you stay tuned for more great videos, and I'll see you guys all later, bye!